Welcome back to Descent into the Abyss. So right now we're trying to find the rest of these glyphs, or, or rather this last one up there. Um, we've already collected the other four, the air glyph, the water glyph, uh, the earth and fire glyph. I wasn't exactly sure how to get to this one, so I actually ended up pinging Argo and uh, asking him for a little bit of a hint. And he told me I needed to go visit the uh, star chart that we put some planets into earlier. Not the one that was over there, mind you, but uh, the other one where we gathered all those gems and put them into the um, put them into the star chart. Actually, I don't think it's this way. Hang on. I think it might be over here. No, I mean it's definitely it's definitely on the western side. Actually, I think we need to go. I think I can get to it over here. Not mistaken. Yeah, not that thing. The one we actually put gems into. Yeah, I think this is the area. It was also that spot where I thought there was like going to be a little demon dude, but it ended up not being there, and I thought it was really creepy. So here we go. Okay, yeah. So this thing, somewhere in this area, apparently, is where I need to be. But I mean, I think I know this is like the abyss area. I don't think we necessarily need to go that way. I'm pretty sure. So it's something around here. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> eh, I probably should be switching to something else here. Let's not waste our ammo. Right, we'll take that, though. Thank you very much. I already used that note. Oh, yeah, and then there was this room, which I didn't quite find anything in. Which it might have something to do with this. I don't really know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Eh. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now we can finally take that chaos gym and do the biz. Okay. Oh, of course. Yes, you know. Yes, you guys are nothing. I got my I got my freaking magic missiles, dude. You guys ain't got shit. You mages ain't got shit. Alright. Let's just jump very carefully across here. Gather the final artifact. The metal. The elemental glyph of metal. Alright, now I think we can go back. Oh, wait, they're already down here. I see. Huzzah! Yeah, way to suck, dickholes. Okay. Now then, um, oh wait, hang on. No, 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 we wanna, we wanna get the fuck out of here. We gotta go put this thing onto the thing. Also, let me go and drink one of my, uh... Okay, and then we got this. Here we go, now we're making progress. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, what do you want? I'm afraid that little trinket of order will do nothing to undo our ritual. Pathetic creature. Hey, go fuck yourself. It has already been done. At any moment now, this damnable castle shall be thrown into the abyss. It already has been. Oh, great. Well, you're gonna do even more, aren't you? Bring on the- Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Argo, did you have to use the creepiest sound from Blood Possible? Thanks for that. <laughs> you know how much I hate that freaking sound. Say your prayers when you still can, mortal. Why don't you go fuck yourself we while you still can? Day by our combined powers. I won't go down without a fight, and this island is still so attuned to the material realm that I can force my way out. Have at you, abominations! Yeah, damn right. You know what? I also have a fucking dark servant on my side. You gonna fight? Oh. Okay, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot, and I, I don't have enough mana to heal myself. Okay. No, 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 no. Those projectiles can go fuck themselves. Oh, okay. Whew. That was quite handy. Okay, well, this world's fucked. That's great. How about we get back on the boat? We need to get back on the boat? No? Okay. <gasps> Wait a minute. Maybe, okay, now that the water has risen up with that horrible blood noise. No, I don't think we're going out there. 
Nope. Okay, hang on. There's gotta be a way out of here. Something tells me I don't want to touch that. Oh. Okay, I can touch it. Well, now we can explore this whole side, I think. I was over the research place before, perhaps I can find a functional portal here. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Hello? Oh, well, what do you know? Earth! Fire! Wind! Water! And then I guess we'll just call this my black heart. My cold black heart. The black heart of Mantarok. Let's all hope all these glyphs are of some use. I mean, I hope so. Alright, um, perhaps... Nope, that's nothing. Okay, we're just gonna go down then. We're just gonna go down this way. It's perfectly fine. Lots of gears and various things like that. What's this do, though? <gasps> okay, that's a portal. That That's a... That one, uh, it's hoping it'll teleport me somewhere I need to be. Yes, indeed. I hope so. Goodies? No goodies. Well, I'll just go ahead and collect all the mana I can. I feel bad for using that crater earlier, but, I mean, those things were hardcore. I don't think it's really that bad of a thing. Okay, let's see where we're going next. The portal malfunction, and I feel another nearby. Oh, damn it. It put us up here. That's pretty lame. Well, hopefully there's something nearby. I'd like to think there would be. Okay. Better work this time, otherwise I have no idea how I should get out of here. Uh, I seem to not be able to move. Oh, okay, I see, yes. Oh, am I back in... Am I back in the Brotherhood? Southeastern Tower of Griffin Hold. Okay, now I seem to gain access to the Grand Library, but not before I break some pottery. I also need to think of an escape route. I'm, I'm thinking no better option than the Conjuration Classroom. Perhaps I can also learn who sent the apprentices after me. They were Griffin mages after all. Yeah, no kidding. All those freaking guys were wearing the brown robes on the very beginning. So, I mean, they were clearly dicks. Oh. Then we must prepare to stop him at all costs. His quest for the ethereal crown is upsetting the balance of the realm. In what way has he upset the balance? For one, his actions led to the Astronomer Castle over in the Isles being thrown into the Abyss. Surely you felt the sun rise in Abyssal energy on the winds of magic. Wait, how does that happen? That isn't important right now. Just tell the other Magistrates to dispel the illusion on the bells once we've dealt with Calaxitus. We'll handle it from there. Oh yes, and tell them to gather in the Grand Library foyer. I'll inform the Associates and prepare myself meanwhile. Understood. I shall see to it at once. And after the associates have been warned, we'll ring the astral bells to banish the abyssal mold. We'll begin once Mendrick is... It is done. The associates have been informed about Calaxitus' presence and will fire at will if they spot him. You guys will stay here and guard the library. If he gets past us, I shall inform him to ring the bells so he can banish the abyssal mold by the castle. Right, time to find that hideout then. It should be behind one of these slimmer bookcases here. Now let's try to remember that this time. Perhaps this one? Perhaps this one? <laughs> Probably that very obvious one that's sticking out. <laughs> Thank you, Arco. <laughs> for making that easy on my dumb ass. Here we are, let's see if Orst and Bronwyn are still around. Little do you know, my dearest player, that those guys are dickholes. They're plotting against you, it seem. Wait, what is this? Hold on, I want to read this. The Arcane Laboratories. Okay. Wait, hang on. Ooh. There is a silver key in here. Probably useful of some, some sort, I would think. What do we have here? The Invokers. <gasps> Well, this is my kind of place. Well, hello, hello. Yes, oh, lovely bricks. Okay, that's pretty far up. What's what's up here, then? Hopefully the Sun Staff is up here. Please say the Sun Staff is up here. Sun Staff. <gasps> yes! Oh! Da -da -da! 
Okay, I don't want to waste that. I mean, I have plenty of mana. What am I worried about? <laughs> I am ready to unleash the power of gravity upon my foes. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. Oh, what's down here? No. Oh. Fire wand. May as well just grab that, because why the hell not? Very nice. I like all these elements. It's very nice. All right, anyway, let's just go ahead and go upstairs. Thank you, Invoker's Tower. I appreciate the uh, the delightful new weapon you've bestowed upon me. Let's see what's in here. All right, so everybody's getting their new weapon, basically, at this point. Fair enough. All right, this next note is from oh, the Beginner's Guide to Necromancy. <laughs> As a novice in the arts of necromancy, you should always start with the purest form of the dead, skeletons. Skeletons are simple and clean bodies to work with, making the starting steps of the resurrection less messy. Before you begin, you, you're, before you begin, you require the necessary components to keep the bones together and prevent a bag of useless undead bones. Your best bet is to buy a bucket full of gray tar, the best component to grant you a flexible and potentially dexterous skeleton at the end of the process. Lastly, before casting the Animate Dead spell on the bones, make sure you use an appropriate soul crystal to serve as the catalyst of the skeleton's unlife. Uh, the soul of an obedient m molt should suffice for your first skeleton resurrection. After the shard is in place, you may cast the Animate Dead spell. We learn something new every day, now don't we? It's quite fascinating stuff, I must say. Alright, anyway. Moving swiftly along. Where have we not gone in this little area? Uh, let's see. A little spot over here that we can check out. A little extra green mana. I think we've been in these rooms yet. No, we have not. I think I saw something over there. Hey there, horse. Got any interesting staves or spells I could use? Staves, if you will? Well, there's bound to be some stuff around in the laboratories. Go and check there unless you've already done so. I mean, I got this. Very well then, thank you. I mean, I already have it, but thank you for your help. I, I very much appreciate it. All right, so there seems to be a teleporter of some kind over here. Let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Not exactly where I need to be yet. Since there's something here. Oh! This is leading us somewhere. off. <laughs> ah. Hey, screw you. Come back here. Fine. Storage units in the southeastern walls. Oh, that's interesting. Always happy to have more of that stuff. Let's see what this note has to say here. Races of Kronos, number seven, the Etans. The Etan kind originally were human legionnaires under the Zadik's Legion, but were subsequently mutated into what they now are. Today, Etans are classified as fiends of the Nether. For any time someone dies of famine, an Etan is created in their native plane of existence. It is suggested that Korax gave all the souls of the Zadik's Legionnaires as payments for the orcs that he hired during his invasion of Kronos. Like the orcs who were brought in such great numbers, they made a society for themselves on Kronos. The Etans are innumerable. Ever since Korax's initial defeat, the Etans that were created through the Demon Lords deal with the Horsemen created their own society in Kronos. The society is based around raids on food stocks so the Etans may create more of their kind by spreading famine across the lands. Fascinating stuff, no doubt. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Grab some more lore about the creatures of the land. Well, if I can actually jump properly, there we go. What is this one all about? The Elves! Myths and legends revolving these mythical beings have been around for as long as anyone can tell. Nearly all accounts involving elf sightings happen in and around forests, but what all these accounts have in common is that they are eyewitness accounts. Eyewitness accounts are the most unreliable form of evidence, so most choose to ignore them. Uh, but all evidence suggests that elves are merely a myth invented for children's nursery rhymes and works of fiction, for if they did exist, they would have to be expert isolationists. Not even the most reclusive dwarven enclave has remained out of sight for as long as the elves have, which further supports the idea that elves simply don't exist. It also suggests that elves are misidentified dryads or other fae because the two races have visual and behavioral traits that line up with the common depiction of elves. I happen to know that none of that is true. And I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure uh, in the universe that we're inhabiting, I think we already know for a fact that's not true as well. Remember, this is a prequel to a lot of things. So there are some facts we know that others may not. Oh, 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 oh you poor child. 
Oh, hold on. <laughs> Get out of here. I heard that. I heard that there was somebody else. Ah, uh, yes, this place. If I jump off the ledge here, I'll be transported to a pocket realm similar to the ether. Okay. Hold on. This is a note that's flashing, which means that it's particularly important. Morel's note. I still don't exactly understand why jumping off this particular ledge will transport you to a pocket dimension that looks similar to the ether. More importantly, who exactly discovered this? Suppose you could survive that drop with Featherfall, but what would compel somebody to try jumping from here? I suppose suicide, but this ledge has never been the site of any suicide as far as I've read. Regardless, why is this particular ledge transport you to a pocket realm? It has been utilized by the Griffin Brotherhood to store basic and structural books that all associates learn from. There's also a book of free healing, or Liber Obscura in the ancient tongue. In there, but it rarely sees much use because of how the traditions of our organization work, which is to say, if you're too weak, clearly deserve death unless you can overcome your weakness. Fair enough. Well, um, all facts seem to be pointing to us jumping off of this, so... Whoa... Okay... Holy ball sacks and a half! That is fucking insane! Okay. Well then. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Cannot use that here. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's fucking crazy. Where the hell does this book go? I mean, there was a giant library back there, and I wasn't there. Now, there's also this peculiar thing. Let's see what this is all about. Can't open that. Okay, fair enough. Something was shooting at me. Oh, hi. And here I thought you were dead. I could have sworn. Come here. Not for your bullshit. There we go. Ow. Well, I guess I... <laughs> that's fine. I could survive that. Okay, so we have this book. Gotta find a place to put it. There are lots of libraries in here that I'm sure we can put something in. Also, are there any extra um, healing potions in here? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. What the fuck are you doing here? Okay. Also, there's a teleporter here. Library Sentry Station? That could be where we're supposed to go. Oh my. Alright, uh, I mean, I am inclined to believe that it is where we're supposed to go, so let's just go ahead and go in there then. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Right, this way, of course. Let's start using the magic missiles again. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess we need to find a switch somewhere. Perhaps there was one up there that I missed? Possibly? Well, let's go back up there and find out. Or, alternatively, no, 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 that's not right. There is something. A little secret there. That's fine. There's another book somewhere, probably. That's probably what I need to find. Where would that be, exactly? Where have I not been? I can try to explore more down here. In the southeastern bell tower. Bastard mages. Why are we here? The northeastern bell tower. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, okay. Perhaps the answer lies within. No? Aha, uh -huh. yes. Now I'm just humping everything. <laughs> Hello there. Prepare to meet thy doom. And then what does this lead to then? Bell Tower Courtyard, okay. Well, before we start diving into the Bell Tower Courtyard, I'd much rather try to find that book if at all possible. Hello? 
Now that does not seem like uh, a safe place to jump into. Hmm. I guess we could try it out. Oh, that was a little painful, admittedly. Well, I would say we probably need to go back to, um, go back over to the red portal. Clearly something needs to spawn on that blue thing. Um, we haven't quite figured out what. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. So what's down here is the real question. What are we supposed to find in this area? Hmm. Questions, questions. Alright, hang on. Perhaps there's something over here. Something we may have missed. Because otherwise, I didn't see... <gasps> there was a switch over there, it looks like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on, hold the phone, hold the fuck up. Wait, we can just do this. <laughs> we don't have to jump off the window. Uh... Okay, hang on. I saw something. There was something up here. A switch. A switch, perhaps. Or was it one of those? Was it just like one of those little windows? Could be that, too. Could be. Shiesty. Hmm. We may have to do some investigating on this. Yep, that may very well be our... unless... Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Alright, well, a mystery we're going to have to unravel next time, I believe. So, I think we'll go ahead and call it here. It's been about 22 minutes. We'll see what we can discover next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Descent into the Abyss. Alright, later.